Hey, what's up guys? Caleb here from Nailsworth Razors. Welcome back to the channel. Got a fun first impression video today with Old Salty here from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. I'm also going to be looking at this beautiful Blueberry Raz brush from Chisel and Hound. And for the razor, I'll be using the original Jacant in satin finish with a first use feather blade. Before we dive into the soap, let's go ahead and talk about this beautiful Blueberry Raz brush. This is a brush by an artisan who has been in the wet shaving community for a very long time. I think, you know, probably going on six or seven years. Name is Rob of Chisel and Hound. You can see the coin right there. Beautiful, beautiful coin. If you're not familiar with Chisel and the Hound, I highly recommend you go check him out. Um, works with all kinds of different materials. He does some of the best, most beautiful resin pours I've ever seen. Look at this pour here. You can see the transparency and translucency of the purple, the blue mingling together. He's got the black up top. Um, some really complex material combinations. He works with wood, he works with metal inlays and stuff, all different kinds of shapes. Um, pretty much anything you could want, any color combination, any material combination. Some of the nicest feeling hands, uh, or rather handles, hands. Hear that, Rob? You've got nice hands. Um, some of the nicest feeling handles out there. And he's also just a really great guy, you know, supports his family with the business. And um, unfortunately, you know, something horrible happened to him over the past couple weeks. His Facebook and Instagram account got hacked, basically his meta for business. And then the hackers did some shit in it, which were against, you know, the, the meta guidelines or whatever. And the account got locked and suspended. He had, you know, hundreds and hundreds of posts, 4,000 followers, six years worth of work in building up that brand and that platform, and it got locked. And he's reached out to Meta numerous times. He's confirmed his identity. He's asked them to look into it. And, you know, they, um, they just keep giving them the response that they don't have enough staff because of COVID, which is like such a cop-out. I mean, if they want businesses to literally stake their livelihoods on these platforms and stuff, they need to provide some kind of security and support. Like he's clearly the owner of the account. He got hacked and it's just like gone, you know, six years worth of work and, uh, and you know, customer base and everything gone. So it's, it's really very unconscionable. And <clears throat> again, he's just a great, great, great brush maker. Um, I believe this brush handle, his brushes usually range from around uh, $65 to, you know, 90 or even 110, depending on the materials. Um, unless they're on sale, sometimes they'll even drop down to like 55 or 45. That's US dollars. And then, you know, if you get one of the higher end Fanchurian knots, which he sells, which you can get inside the brush, that'll add uh, an extra, I think probably about 55 or $60 to the price. I got this one unknotted so I could use my own knot in it, which I'm, I'm testing. It's another two band um, badger, custom two band badger that I'm val or, uh, evaluating for my own brush. So, you know, this brush I think cost me about $70 US $90 Canadian, which, you know, for a hand-turned masterpiece like this, $70, you know, it's, it's a really good price. Now for the soap here, I'm using Old Salty. Love that artwork, by the way, the, uh, the kind of Old Salty captain there. This is by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This is actually my first ever PAA soap. It is in the C6 base, which is the luxury base. There's the pour. They have another base, which I think is about 10 US cheaper for, um, for a pour as well. I don't know if there are fewer ounces. This one has five ounces. And um, for five ounces and a luxury base, it I think it ran for about $26 uh, US or 32 Canadian, which is actually pretty good for their luxury tier base. And... Um, <clears throat> It was a, you know, a very soft base. I would say almost like a crope when I scooped it and then put it into the bowl. Um, it lathered up very, very nicely. That brush that I'm using, I've broken it in a bit, but I've only used it like maybe once before. 
and uh, you know there are no problems with that knot and lathering up it uh, the lather in the bowl and everything you could see it I didn't even have to do any water additions or like additional face lathering on the face so it was very nice very nice indeed the um, old salty fragrance profile I think it's described as being a clean, fresh, embracing breath of salty ocean air. The scent notes are sea salt and ocean air in the top. Then in the middle, there's driftwood and balsam wood and citrus. And then in the base, there's subtle notes of vanilla and oak moss. And I would say that I'm mostly getting the salty ocean air and the citrus. I think um, the woods there, the balsam and driftwood are kind of there to anchor it into, but they're not overpowering. It's mostly the salty sea. It is a nice kind of clean, fresh, blue fragrance with some light citrus and uh, a bit of that salty accord in there. I would say this, I would normally really like this and consider it a win. The only drawback is that, um, you know, with a name like Old Salty and the kind of grizzled sort of uh, captain, ship captain artwork there, and the description of the woods and the oak moss, I was expecting something maybe a little bit moodier and darker although i suppose that's on me because it does say clean and fresh in the, the description and um you know i don't even mind that except that if you've ever tried luther blue which is you know a salty sea accord i would say it's actually very similar to luther blue Maybe similar enough to where, like, you know, I wouldn't consider them different enough for them to have a unique unique place in my den. Uh, now, mind you, though, I really enjoyed Luther Blue. And so um, if you like the sound of that, that salty sea accord and the light kind of clean, fresh citrus, that nice blue fragrance, then I might recommend picking it up because um, it's actually quite nice. Let's try this old salty splash. Old salty splash. <laughs> Sounds funny. I wonder if this will be any different than the soap smell or than the Luther Blue. I mean, the Luther Blue splash is very, very alcohol forward because of the new Luther formula. A little alcohol forward, not as alcohol forward as the Luther. Maybe getting a little bit more of that oak moss and some of the woods in there, less of the salt. And some of that citrus too. There's almost something a little floral about it too, which is interesting. Very nice though. Yeah, so, okay, takeaways. Um, let's talk about Old Salty first. So, I like it. Uh, you know, the base lathered up really nicely. Created a great lather in my bowl here. Um, you know, great artwork. I think the price of $26 for five ounces uh, and the premium base like this is very good. The fragrance is very nice. Uh, reminds me a lot of Luther Blue, but it does have that kind of fresh, clean, salty sea accord and then uh, a little bit of citrus in there and, uh, and some subtle woods kind of anchoring it down. So if that sounds like something you might like, I might recommend it. If you already have a Luther Blue, maybe not because they're kind of similar. The splash is a little different smelling though. So that might matter too. And whoa, it's got quite a, quite a post on it. This, it's like my face is like burning right now, but it's not like an alcohol burn. It's almost like this kind of warming burn. Really interesting. 
and almost slightly floral smelling. But I like it. I think I'm, this is still going to be a hit for me. Um, for the brush, obviously, that is a beautiful, 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 fantastic brush. Uh, just excellent. $70, <laughs> excuse me, can't go wrong with that. Highly recommend it. Go check out Rob. Also, uh, I didn't mention this before. Chills on the Hound did make a new Instagram account, trying to get their followers back. Uh, you know, they're up to a few hundred right now or whatever, but you know, it's gonna be, it's a long way to 4,000. So look it up, Chisel and Hound. I think it's Chisel and Hound Co. now instead of just Chisel and Hound. But look it up on Instagram. They give that a follow. I'll, I'll link it in the channel too. So that's it for the shave. Thank you guys for watching. Give a follow, give a like. Have an awesome week, and I will see you in the next video.